Hello to everyone guys. Today in this video, I will just show you how we can disable the create function. Um, uh, let's suppose um, if we are going to pick or we choose any field, many to one field in any app, let's suppose uh, in sales app or in purchase app or any other app. So how we can automatically uh, disable the create function. So uh, anyone can just choose any field there or any entry there if that entry is not in database. So, you know, it will be created and then thousands and hundreds of entries, raw entries will be created, which is not good for database. So how we can, um, how we can stop this? Let me just show uh, the idea and before this for this practice we are using Odoo 16 community edition and for IDE as usual I'm just using the uh, Visual Studio code let me just show you what I'm talking about uh, if I go in sales and if I create a new sale order so here if you see this field name is partner underscore ID and this is a many to one field and the record is coming from rest dot partner which is a model database model there uh, which is for the contact uh, model and all these records are coming from the rest dot partner so let's suppose that if we want to choose Dectico addict we can just choose it but let's suppose that we want to choose uh, a new we just say test so if test is not there in the database, it is allowing us to create a new customer in the table um, model, which is rest.partner test. If I click here, so that will be created. So if I go in contact now, and if I choose or if I search test here, so this test has already been created. So which is not good um, in a lot of cases. So how we can stop this to happen? Um, okay, so for that, what we need to do, we don't need to add anything in our Python file. What we need to do, we need to, um, we need to get into XML file we need to inherit the ID of that form view and then go in that field and change the attribute of that field. Um, how we can do that? Um, okay, it's not that difficult. Let me just show it to you first because I don't have any kind of uh, XML file where I am um, inheriting sale order. So let's create a new file. So let me just create a new file. I will name this file sale underscore order. I would say extension dot XML. Okay. You can copy this file here, control C, and right away I will go in manifest file. So I can just give the path of my file, so which is views, and then the file name which I have copied, I have pasted here. Control v which is control v which is for pasting the existing control c uh, operation okay that's it after that we can go in our file and before going there let me just copy this from my other uh, file which will be helpful in our new file so let's first start with odoo so this is the basic thing we need to I do that in our XML file. I have just copied there this XML. Um, all right, so I don't need to do that because already I have copied or do tags from that file. So let's delete one tag. That's it. Okay. Control C and okay. So here uh, first of all we just need to give the id of our record we need to give record id um, any unique we want so i would say sale underscore order extension and we do sorry control z extension i would say disable create right we can give a name here 
a unique name again. So I would do the same thing here, but rather than underscore, I will do dot here. Okay, here, where we want to change the form uh, of the model. So let's go in the front end and let's go in sales. Let me just open any sale order. Here, if you see model is sale.order, let's copy it from there and copy it here, sale.order, right. And then inherit underscore ID. Here we need to give inherit ID of that form where we are going to make changes. So for that, before you need to do, you need to enable your debugger mode, which is on at the moment. Click here and then edit view form. This is the external ID, just copy it from here and paste it in Visual Studio Code in inherit underscore ID. So this is it. After that, it will remain the same. Then we need to do XPath here. Okay, for XPath, uh, the field name which we are going to change, uh, that field name, what is that? This customer and just place the cursor on this question mark if you are using uh, Odoo 16. So that is partner underscore ID. So what we do, we can just write partner underscore ID here. Okay, in position, um, we can do after, we can do before, we can do inside. And there is another thing, we can do attributes. So bef because we are not going to change anything, we are just going to changing the attributes of that field, right? And now, next thing, we don't, we are not adding any fields, so we are doing attribute. So the attribute name is which we are, which we are changing is options. Right, guys? Options. And in options, this is the syntax we need to write. So here, we need to do no and create. true right guys and then close the attribute tag tag that's it so no create is true and we also can use it here we can say no mm, let me just remember what was that it was no cre no create edit no create underscore edit so also can't edit that so that is true that's it uh, that's it this is what we need to do after that just restart Odoo service uh, one more thing that before doing that uh, what mo one more thing you need to do if you go in your manifest file and in depends in depends you need to add sale because we are you inheriting sale dot order which is in sale let me just show you if you go in odoo and in add-ons if you go in sale so and in models this is the sale dot order if we do sale underscore order so this is the module which we are inheriting you can see here sale dot order and because this of this mod model is in sale. That's why, we, because it is depending on sale. So we need to do that. So once it's it has been resetted, we can go and upgrade our Odoo module. So this is our custom module name, um, general customization. Let's upgrade that. I hope we don't get any errors. As um, previously, I have shown you that it allowed us to create a new partner uh, whenever, when I wrote that test, it created test. But now what we will do, we will go in sales and we will try to create test one. So there is no test one. Let me just show you. So if I open application contacts here, 
and I show you there is no test one. Test one. So the what happened before, e e even there was no test. So when we wrote test and you know it created when you click create test it created test automatically um, I show you it created this test automatically so now there is no we didn't give any other fields but now we are going to create a new sale order and we are writing it here test one voila so test one is already here uh, but there is no record here you can see here there is no record and if I do test 2 no record or anything that's it no records so it has not given us an option to create this record this field because uh, we have disabled that through the attribute function through the attribute um, X path this is a, we have changed options attribute of partner ID and we have said that don't give permission for no create either edit as well so this is how we can do that this is very very beneficial and especially when you are doing professional work in your professional market uh, you know um, you need to do all these things it's it's it is very important you can't just let random people to create um, and fill all your press partner database just like that so yeah i hope you like this video if you like it uh, share it with your friends subscribe this channel um, and that will encourage me to come up with new and fantastic ideas thank you so much thanks guys see you again bye bye